most people, when you tell them that weight gain in someone else might cause their weight gain, would say, well, don't we already know that? Mm -hmm. And to some extent, we do. Although one of the things that our study has done is quantify the degree of these effects, yeah. document the fact that they've occurred over a 30-year period, mm -hmm. uh, and also show that it's not the effect is not merely at the level of one individual affecting another, but that rather there's a higher order effect of clusters of individuals, of a spreading process through the network, a cascade that spreads out, not just between any two individuals, but through larger population in general, like an epidemic, a real epidemic. So we studied uh, 12,000 individuals whose weight was repeatedly measured uh, every four years or so over 30, a 32 year period. What we found in studying these uh, individuals uh, was that weight gain in one person could contribute to weight gain in others to whom they were connected via a social tie. And that this effect depended on the nature of the social tie. So weight gain in my friend uh, might increase my probability of gaining weight by over 70%. Uh, weight gain in my sibling might increase my uh, probability of gaining weight by roughly 40%. And weight gain in my spouse might increase my probability of gaining weight by about 37%. First, our results confirm the idea that obesity is not just an individual level phenomenon, but a collective phenomenon as well. That uh, assessments of the problem or interventions to respond to the problem should not merely attend to individual actions, but also to collective actions. Second, our results suggest that interventions that um, target groups of individuals rather than sole, uh, uh, isolated individuals are likely to be more effective. People losing weight together is likely to be more effective than people losing weight on their own or individually. Third, uh, our results suggest that to the extent that uh, prevention of weight gain in one person or treatment of weight gain in one person works, you're more likely to contribute to uh, avoidance of weight gain or loss of weight in other individuals. If you help one person to lose weight, that person in turn will affect others, so you have more total weight loss in the group than you have in the individual. This means that the amount of money you spend or effort you expend in helping a person to lose weight has much more benefit than you might have imagined, because not only does that individual lose weight, but also others around them lose weight.